health workers in Kaduna State on Monday embarked on a five-day warning strike. The industrial action involved members of the Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, Association of Hospitals and Administrative Pharmacies, and Association of Medical Laboratory Scientists who are demanding for outstanding allowances, amongst others. Trust TV's Bello Musa has more. Public hospital in Kaduna State were a shadow of themselves on Monday as rendered only skeletal services due to the industrial action which left only doctors and laboratory technicians on duty. The industrial action left many patients stranded at the Borodiko Teaching Hospital in Kaduna. It's because they felt that they are healthy and it's because they felt that they are sound today. Tomorrow they will fall sick regardless of whoever they are. Doctors die. Nurses die, traders die, politicians die. If they allow lives to be lost here, they too will die one day. So I want to put it to them that whatever be the reason for which they abandon lives here, care less about the lives they abandon here, they should rethink and see that they return back to the post of their duty. <laughs> We brought our father on Thursday because he had an accident and was seriously bleeding, but he was not attended to until after three days. Although he was administered dream on Saturday, since then nobody has even talked to us again. It is my husband that is admitted and he is unconscious. We have spent four days here without access to any kind of treatment. Despite the fact that ran several tests and scans, meanwhile, unit leaders came and asked the nurses to stop the skeletal services they were rendering. So they all left. Now we can't even take him back home due to his critical condition. There is no adjective that I can describe this ugly situation. Actually, it is not the best. We are people are sick, seriously unconsciousness. They brought here. Some accident occur. Very dangerous, fatal one, very fatal one. They refuse even to be attended. The greatest at astonishment. The union came and drive those that are attending to the patients. The health workers embarked on the strike over issues that are yet to be resolved between them and the state government regarding the CONHES salary structure since 2009. For quite some time, since October 2023, we have been pressing home our demands to, with the government through the Office of the Head of Service. Uh, we have been engaging the Office of the Head of Service as regards to our 30% uh, balance of the 2009 CONHES uh, salary, 2009 or 2019. So you can imagine the number of years. And uh, we have been patient, we have been going to the government, uh, telling them the reality of things, pressing our demands. Our and then there's also the issue of uh, 2023 hazard allowance. Sometimes uh, November 2023, the Commissioner for Health invited us and asked us to do a computation of the financial implication of the 2023 hazard allowance. The health workers say welfare has been a major challenge, which is why most of their colleagues would rather move abroad for better remuneration. The, the major reason for, medic, uh, for, for, for this brain drain is a result of poor welfare. If the, wealth, if the workers are properly taken care of, I don't think they will leave the comfort of of their own country to go to another place to to render services. But if the workers are being taken care of properly, I think there will be no reason for them to, to travel out. Most of them will, will remain here because some of some of the countries they are the weather is not as friendly as, as ours, but they tend to withstand that because of what the remuneration they will get while working there. The strike forced many relatives to take their patients home or other private hospitals for medical attention. When contacted, the permanent secretary of the State Ministry for Health, Aisha Muhammad, said she would officially react to the development on Tuesday.
በለሙሳ ትራስቲቪ ኒስከዱና